Hey, what's up guys? It's Unity Riggers, I'm going to be showing my Barclays Premier League team in this video. So, start with my goalkeeper, who is Lloris. So, Lloris has got some great stats, 90 diving, 91 reflexes, and in goal for me so far, he's kept 7 clean sheets in 10 games. So, I'm going to put the defence in now, then talk about them. Going on to my defence now, start off with Richardson. So, his main stat is his pace, where on 85, but his shooting is pretty good on this game. It's 73, and he's got a nice shot. I've scored a few goals in from the edge of the area. And also, that's the same for Mike, but I'll talk about him in a minute. So, for Richardson, he's He's a great player, he gets down the wing, he gets crosses in, he puts the ball on my player's head so they can head into the back of the net. And he is a great player, he's done a good job at left back for me. For Mycon, he has done a good job as well, 85 pace as well, 75 shooting, his shots are okay as well, I've only scored one goal of him so far though. But him and Richardson, they're great players, they get down the wing, they get crosses in, they've got okay shots as well so they can shoot from the edge of the area as I just said. And they're good players. For my two centre-backs, Company and Vidic. Company's got good pace with 74. They've both got amazing defending stats. Also, Vidic is heading on 92, which is insane. Company's heading, it's on 79, but he seems to score a lot of headers for me. And they're great players. They're like a wall there. If the team attacks, they've got to get past them too. And the most shots against me in one game so far is eight. And also, the centre fence in mid, he gets a lot of tackles in as well. But I'll talk about him in a second. So... Company and Vidic, they're absolutely amazing at centre-back, and they pretty much prevent every attack, so I'm loving my defence for this team and going on to the midfield now. So, going on to my midfield now, and starting off with Teote, so his main status is defending what's on 83, and he pretty much just sits in front of Vidic and company, and he gets an absolute ton of tackles in, and he's just an absolute beast in that position. For my two wingers, Nani and Ben Arthur, Nani, he's got 87 pace, that helps him get past players. They've both got good dribbling, they've both got 5-star skills. Their shots are okay as well, and they're great for cutting into the area and taking a shot, or just getting across into my strikers. For David Silva, his main stat is his dribbling, while he's on 88. He's also got good passing, while he's on 86. His shots are okay, nothing special, but he is a great player, and he has set up an absolute ton of goals for me. So going on to my strikers now. Going on to my two strikers now, who are Aguero and Rooney. So I'm going to look at their stats right now and compare them slightly. So for the pace, Aguero's got 88, and he definitely is a lot faster than Rooney. But 79 for Rooney, he seems a bit faster than that. And I think he's probably about 85, really, because of Rooney just seems to run through players. Same for Aguero. And also with their dribbling on 91 and 84, the ball just seems to, well, it sticks to their feet. And it's like there's a magnet in the ball, a magnet in their foot. Because it just doesn't want to seem to leave them when they're running through players. So both of them are great for running through players. They use their pace and their dribbling well. But going on to the shooting now, so Aguero's got 84. Rooney's got 88. Rooney scores a lot of goals for me, same for Aguero. But Aguero's shooting, it seems a bit higher than 84. Because of, well, him and Rooney, they had about the same amount of shots. But Rooney's only scored 12 goals for me. And Aguero scored 22. So a 10 goal difference there from 10 games. And they have a similar amount of shots. So Aguero's shooting, it seems a bit better than Rooney. So I'm actually surprised that it's not a higher stat than his. But they've both got good shots now. For their passing, 73 and 83. So good passing for both of them as well. And for the heading, they do score a few headers every now and then. So they're great strikers. And they do a good job. And they score a decent amount of goals for me. So going on to some gameplay on the screen. And I'm just going to talk about the stats and a few other things for the team. So with this team, I've played 10 games. one nine, lost one. The one game I did lose, it was a bit annoying to lose it because I lost by one goal and also it's a very close game but you have to lose games every now and then so for this team as well I've only conceded nine goals and I've scored 54 so that shows how good the defense has actually done and also Teote he's just a rock there at stopping attacks same with the two center backs and you get past them you gotta beat Laurie so the defense absolutely love it for this team for the midfield Nani, David Silva and Ben Arthur um, I would possibly maybe change Nani for Hazard in the future, just see what he's like. Also, Teote, I may change with Yaya Torre in the future. But they're the only two changes I'd actually possibly make for the team. But Nani, he does a great job, so I'm not sure if I'd actually swap him with Hazard. But I do want to try Hazard in the future. And for the two strikes, Aguero and Rooney, they just score an absolute ton of goals. And I'm absolutely loving this team. So if there's any other teams you want to see me build, let me know down below in the comments. So see you, shooting riggers, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like.